to follow after you And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do Your presence is an open door So come now Lord, like never before Your presence is an open door So come now Lord, like never before I know breakthrough is coming is an open door so come now Lord like never before your presence is an open door so come now Lord like never before For those of you who are born on the month of July, happy birthday! Hi kids, it's me, Miss Esther. Have you ever been in a life or death situation? Like there's this one time I was swimming in the beach and I felt like the water current was really strong but figured there's no way I would drown in the beach. That would be ridiculous, I thought to myself. But all of a sudden, I was dragged right into the water towards the open sea and I went further and further away from the beach. I tried swimming back towards the beach, but I felt like I wasn't moving anywhere. Do you know what happened next? Find out after the video. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon liked to go big. Build me a statue. Of course, your majesty. Granite, marble, <laughs> copper. I'm thinking gold. Gold? Pure gold. Wow. Okay. Six feet tall. Seven. Taller. Twenty. Taller. Seventy-seven. Taller. Ninety. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We'll need a super-sized furnace to smelt that much gold. Then supersize it. Commence the smelting. So the king's craftsmen melted down tons of gold and shaped it into an enormous statue nine feet wide and taller than two and a half telephone poles. They set it just outside the city in the broad plain of Dura. Mmm, such a finely smelted specimen. 
We must invite everyone to admire my statue. So the king instructed messengers to summon all of his officials. Three of them were Jewish men who had come to Babylon as captives, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's a royal decree. That I can see. Are you all coming with me? So the three friends arrived at the plain of Dura where all the other officials had gathered. A messenger from the king called out loudly, This is the king's command. When you hear the sound of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes, you must fall down and worship this golden statue. Worship a false god? That's worse than odd. I wouldn't even give it a nod. Oh, and FYI, if you don't do it, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. <laughs> Immediately, music began to play. Every single official threw themselves down on the ground except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And let me tell you, their refusal to bow did not go unnoticed. Who do they think they are? I think we should make things hot for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Several officials dusted themselves off and went straight to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. Thanks. Will do. You told everyone to bow down. As soon as they hear the sounds of the horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. But these Jews you appointed don't serve your gods. They refuse to worship your gold statue. Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. Oh, now I am very angry in a very big way. The king sent for the three friends. Is what I hear about you true? Don't you serve my gods and worship the gold statue I set up? We will not bow. Even when you hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? We refuse to kowtow. Even though you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace? This ends now. Even if we're thrown into a blazing furnace, the one true God will save us. But even if he didn't, we still wouldn't serve your gods or bow down to some golden statue. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Nebuchadnezzar's face burned red as a ripe tomato. <sighs> Make the fire seven times hotter. Tie them up. Throw them in. The king's strongest soldiers grabbed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knotted heavy ropes around the three friends and then shoved them into the roaring flames. The king peered into the blue, hot heart of the flames and then leapt back in surprise. Didn't we throw three men into the fire? And they all deserved it. Look, I see four men walking around untied. The fire hasn't harmed them. The fourth man, Looks like a son of the gods. Sure enough, a fourth figure stood there with the three friends. An angel? Or perhaps Jesus himself? Dumbfounded, the king rushed to the door of the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you who serve the Most High God, come out. The three friends walked out of the scorching flames, completely unharmed. The royal officials crowded around to see. Their hair isn't singed. Their robes haven't burned. They don't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar was so impressed that, as usual, he went big. May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants who trusted in him. No other God can save people this way. So I'm giving an order about the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. Well, what happens if somebody does? Well, they'll be snipped in tiny pieces and their homes turned into piles of trash. Go, God. Go, God. Go, 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 God. Go, God. Go, God. Go, 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 God. The king even honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and gave them higher positions in the kingdom. So kids, what happened was, I started getting tired and I panicked. I screamed for help, but I did not see anyone come to my rescue. I thought, maybe they didn't hear me, and I guess that's it. This is how my life will end. But all of a sudden, a surfer came and swept me onto his board and brought me to shore. I thought my life was over, but I was saved. Thank you, surfman. Just like this story, I was never alone. Even when I thought people couldn't hear me and I was alone drowning in the ocean, God heard me because He is always with me. Let's pray. 
Thank you, Jesus, for reminding us today that you are always there with us. You will never leave, nor will you ever forsake. Thank you, Lord. Pray that you bless this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for spending your Sunday with us. Remember, we have our weekly content on Mondays, Wednesdays, as well as on Fridays. We'll see you in our Zoom classes later this afternoon.